Guys of Reddit, what are some weird things that almost every girl does, but they don't realize? Part 2 Complain they're hungry only to turn down every suggestion, after you've listed every dish known to man, twice. That fucking high-pitched gasp they do, when they're surprised about something totally mundane, and I'd go WTF duck and roll, take cover, head to the bunker, but it's just a cute dress they saw behind me. Dude that shit puts me on alert every single time and I just can't help it. I'll be chilling in bed with my girlfriend, probably browsing with it, and suddenly gasp. Oh no. I'm instantly trying to emotionally prepare myself for the death of a loved one, or breaking news that North Korea finally blew a gasket and actually nook Japan and now the US and China are straight up going to war, and I'm getting drafted. Fucking anything could be real in those 3 seconds, before she tells me some 90 year old celebrity she hardly even knew of just died of natural causes, and I'd fall for it every single time haha. <laughs> Girls always pose for pictures with a stance like one leg is one foot longer than the other. Doesn't matter the context of the photo, if they're in the shot, head to toe, one leg will be bent at the knee at a 70 degree angle, while the other is locked out. Complain I left the toilet seat up. I'm fine. Are you really though? I'm really sorry. Yeah it's okay. I'm okay with that. Go do your thing. Okay then. Proceeds to get mad afterwards. While playing video games they rotate the controller when they jump. Even when the game has no motion controls. Haha. Ha. My sister did this growing up. We joked that she was going to knock everyone out before they got their turns. Lol. Twirling their hair I do not know what that is all about. Girls like to ask you to do something, and after you reject the first time they would continue asking, and when you stand up and do what they want they'll start saying things around the lines of you actually did it. OMG wow. Eating half of my food after she told me she wasn't hungry. Checking their reflection in every shiny surface on their way, car windows, billboards, you name it. Making faces during selfies in a public place. That thing you girls do with your hair, where the bun is like a pine cone on top of your head. Tell me to do things, when I do, they act like I do nothing. Constantly talk about themselves, never ask me about me, and yet they wonder why I don't want to talk with them again. Only finishing half their drink, and then leaving the glass or bottle around, and getting another one. Repeat cycle times 100. Assume it's just fine and dandy to hit someone in the balls. Being mad at you because you did or said something mean in her dream. Expecting you to read their mind and know when they need help with something, even when you are in a different room and don't even know what they are up to, will often say you heard me doing such and such why didn't you come help? You making noise in the other room doesn't let us know you are doing chores or something and need help. They never say hey I'm gonna do this can you help, they just do it then eat an oit that you didn't notice and didn't help. Snapchat dog filter. I'm cold. Hardly wears any clothing. As Peter Griffin said, said every woman always. They love picking zits. I don't get it. They think we have a pile of extra hooters up for grabs with no need of returning them. Not just saying the thing they seem to really want you to know. It's weird. Leaving clothes slash underwear slash hair everywhere, and it's perfectly normal, but leave a sock out of place and everyone loses their mind. Being mad or frustrated when shown an easier way to go about a task. You talk a lot louder than you think you do. Waste our time by asking if they look good or not. Definitely not every girl, but I see it too often, wearing too much makeup. Yes honey we can see that caked up on your face and we prefer natural looks so go about 50% strength and you'll be good. Making that fucking duck face when taking pictures. It is not cute, so stop doing it. I don't think girls do that as much as they used to. I can't tell you the last time I saw duck face. They are mostly just smiling these days like regular folk. Also, lip injections. Yes both horrible. They spend their life trying to remove natural oils from their skin, and then replacing them with moisturizing creams etc, and then complain their skin is dry. Putting beauty stuff literally everywhere. The little dance they do, after taking the first couple bites of food after it arrives. 
take photos of their toes. Comes over, dumps their stuff in the middle of my bedroom doorway, not to the side of the room, not anywhere else, middle of the doorway. Snore in their sleep, putting on too much makeup to the point it looks like clown work, stare at things too much. If you bring donuts and silverware they will cut the donut in half. Sometimes someone will come back later and cut it again. Usually two cuts is maximum. Now, by their own admission, if you don't have a knife to cut it, they will eat the whole thing. Sauce, office with eight gals and lots of half cut leftover pastries. Assume that shopping is enjoyable and worthy of hours on a weekend. And saying they are not that hungry, ordering a salad then eating half of my fries. Judge the crap out of each other when they meet, especially the attractive ones. Laugh hysterically at average jokes when they are told by an alpha. Avoiding confrontation at all costs then getting better about it later. Compare themselves to other women and gay men. Calm the fuck down. Claim they already told you about something, such as plans, and getting mad when you don't remember. That or tell you something while you're mentally preoccupied, watching a movie, reading, gaming, etc. Then they get mad at you for not listening. Complains about not having food, always hungry, and going to the bathroom in pairs, but not actually doing their business, but doing some unknown thing that only the man up there knows. They think guys will catch subtle hints, many can't. If you like him, ask him out. If you're hungry, say so. If you're pissed, because I took the last of the pizza, when you said I could, you should have remembered the thesis of this comment. Generally if I ask an opinion or question, it's because I tried, but haven't been able to interpret your body language, and need a verbal assist. I was hoping this goes away with maturity, but I noticed my mom does this shit all the time and I never understand why. I don't know why girls like to play guessing games then get mad about shit not happening. It never made sense to me. Luckily, my best friend's family is super old school Italian and forced you to say what was wrong, what you wanted, what you were thinking, etc. Spent a lot of time over there and they are very responsible for me speaking my mind. Leave hair everywhere. How can something that is always so cold mold so much hair? Typically women have longer hair due to prevailing style trends. Long hair is more prone to breakage and also more noticeable. As a guy with long hair, long hair sheds like crazy. I have hair on basically everything I own. I swear it floats up to ceiling and stays there for a few days, then floats down and wraps itself around my dick for me to find in the shower. WTF. And then deny it? Honey, only one of us is putting hair in the sink and my hair sure as hell isn't long enough. Try to come between their man and his friends, eventually leaving him without a group of friends to turn to when she fucks his life up. Something as simple as retrieving a bottle of hairspray that is already on the counter, immediately adds about 5 or 6 random items onto the countertop. After a couple retrievals it, you can't even see the counter anymore. This goes for just about anything in any part of the house. It's like she's a magician with a knack for populating spaces with random stuff. Roll their eyes 100 times in a minute. Going to the bathroom in conglomerates. The only time guys do that is to change or jerk each other off. They look very cute slash pretty, but they still complain that they look bad. I feel personally attacked as a guy. Our brains automatically go to what we feel is wrong and then only lets us focus on it. The only time we truly see what we look like is when we sneak up on the mirror or pretend we are not looking, then it's oh, hey there. Sometimes we just need reassurance. That's called fishing for compliments or being super insecure. I've noticed that women seldom get out of their car and just walk away like men do. They get out of the car then open the other door or the trunk and lean inside and fidget with something. My wife and I go someplace, we get out of the car, then I stand there, while she digs for something in another part of the car. What? Funny. I notice when they get back in their car they almost always just sit there doing whatever it is they are doing. Learned the hard way trying to find a parking spot. When coming home they take their bra off through their shirt sleeve and run their hands underneath their boobs to get rid of boob sweat. I don't care that we've been married 20 years, I still want an extra peek at them. 
not being clear when they communicate. I mean seriously she needs to quit hinting at things she wants me to do and just say it. Because let's be legit. If I didn't notice the past 3 cashiers that were flirting with me, according to her, odds are not good that I'm going to be able to figure out the code she is talking in. Starting arguments over pretty reasons, usually just to expand the argument and bring up something that they are actually mad about. Example, you forgot to vacuum the stairs, just like you forgot our anniversary. I know some people may find this offensive or something, but every guy can relate. Uses TV remote. Sets down TV remote. 30 seconds later. Hey babe, where did you put the TV remote? Fuck. <laughs>